Amanda Geidel and I'm the director of the special education program here at Concordia. I'm going to talk to you briefly today about differentiating instruction to meet the needs of diverse students. Our classroom today is more diverse than it's ever been, including students who have special needs as well as students who are gifted and everyone in between. Differentiating instruction can be an overwhelming task. I want to remind you that if you consider the content, process, and product of your lessons, it may make differentiation an easier thing to do. First of all, the content is the information you give to the students. That can be varied in difficulty level. It can also be varied in the method of delivering that content, whether it be through lecture or group work or hands-on experiment, the content can be varied. The second thing to think about is varying the process. That's the time when students work on the information that you've given them. If you want to vary the process, you may be able to do that by changing the level of difficulty, um, allowing students to work with a partner or maybe in a small group, allowing students some more one-on-one -on -one instruction if they're struggling. The process time is an important time for the student to work through the topic of, of instruction and to develop a certain level of understanding. Thirdly, you may want to consider differentiating the product. Not all students are going to be able to perform as well on certain tasks. Some students can take a test well, while others may um, do better performing a certain skill. And so you may want to allow students to show you in different ways um, or different products how and what they've learned based on your lesson. Differentiating instruction is a difficult task, but it's necessary for us to consider doing if we want to meet the needs of all of our students and doing that in the content, process, and product of our lessons will make us the most successful teachers that we can be.